Hi guys, I hope you are well. So recently I've had um, quite a few questions about um, what equipment do you need to start vlogging? So in this vlog, I want to share um, some tips on how to get started and also, you know, what I use to vlog. So yeah, let's get started. Number one, camera. So you need some kind of camera to film yourself. And I wanna say like straight off the bat, you might be tempted to go out and buy a new camera. I know that I, I definitely was. I was so excited to start vlogging. I wanted to get a brand new camera and I strongly advise you not to do this, uh, you know, for several reasons. Um, one, a camera is really expensive. Like a good quality camera is really expensive. Uh, two, you, you know, you don't know whether you're going to like vlogging yet. So it's, yeah, it's not worth spending the money just yet. And three, um, you need to vlog and go through those motions. You, know, you need to make like a few uh, videos first before you will know what you want in a camera. So you know, wh what do you use then? And my advice would be to use your mobile phone. Um, and I'm assuming that you have a smartphone because smartphones have been around for quite a while now. And you know, if you don't have a smartphone, hopefully you will know somebody that can lend you one. Now, it really doesn't have to be like the newest smartphone. You know, in fact, pretty much all of the vlogs that I filmed in Malaysia, you know, if you look back on my YouTube channel, they were filmed on an iPhone 6S. And you know, when I tell people that, they are really surprised at you know, the quality of um, the vlogs because it's, it's decent quality. Now there are some tricks to you know, filming on your iPhone, but I'm not gonna cover these in this vlog. Nowadays I use my iPhone 11 and also a DJI Pocket 2. So yeah, don't, don't go out and buy a new camera, um, just use your smartphone to start with. Number two, tripod. Now the tripod is there to you know, hold your phone in place uh, to stabilize your shots. And you know, nobody wants to watch jittery footage. That's not fun. So, um, you know, you can either get a tripod or you can you know, do some kind of um, DIY, DIY, I call it a DIY tripod kind of thing, um, you know, where you stack books up and you prop up your phone. Um, but that, that is actually quite time consuming. And, and given that you can get a cheap tripod, you know, I think that's worth a punt. So if you're willing to spend a little bit of extra money on your tripod, um, I thought that I would point this out. It's not the be all and end all, but it's definitely useful to know. So this bit of the tripod where you have, you know, some flexibility on creating different angles. You know, I found that, you know, the cheaper tripods don't tend to have this. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. The tripod that I use, like most of the time is, is one made by Joby. And um, this thing is so robust. I've been using it for over 10 years and yeah, it's still going so strong. So final thing on this point, if you're planning to um, move around a lot, especially if you're talking and moving at the same time, um, you might need something called a gimbal. It's a, I think it's a very strange word. When I first heard it, I was like, what the heck is that? Um, but it's basically something that will stabilize your shots. It gives you more stability whilst you're moving. Number three, microphone. Now, in my opinion, a microphone is non-negotiable. I think you have to get this um, because audio is just as important as visual. And again, if you're watching a video with really bad audio or subpar audio, it really sucks. Like you don't want to watch that video anymore. So, you know, when you're using your mobile phone, sorry, when you're using the microphone in your mobile phone, um, these kind of microphones don't tend to be that good. And, you know, yes, if you're in a quiet room, like maybe like this, and you're quite close to your mobile phone, then, you know, the audio is, it's probably going to be all right. But um, you don't have to spend a lot of money to, you know, buy a microphone and make sure that your audio is definitely all right. So in my experience, I've had cheap microphones, I've had expensive microphones, and the one that I keep coming back to is the cheap microphone, and it's the one that I'm using right now, and it is the Boya BYM1. So on Amazon right now, it's retailing for about 18 euros, 
I got mine in Malaysia for about 10 euros. I don't know how I managed that one. Um, but yeah, I don't have to be precious with it. It's, it's a cheap microphone. I just, you know, stuff it in its little bag and I chuck it in the drawer. I should probably take a bit better care of it. Um, but yeah, it gets the job done. I'm going to pause for a moment and ask if you are enjoying this video to please hit that like button and also, you know, subscribe, consider subscribing. Um, this will really help this channel grow. Thanks so much and let's get back to it. Number four, surroundings. Now, if you're filming outdoors, especially if you're, you know, talking in front of the camera, um, it can be really tricky. So having somewhere indoors that's quiet, um, where you can film is really, really useful. And you probably need um, a desk and a chair in addition to that. And you also need to think about what is going on behind you, because if it's a very cluttered scene behind you, then it's going to be a little bit distracting. It will detract from you know, the message that you're trying to get across in your vlog. So um, yeah, just be aware of that. Also, lighting is important. Now, you don't need to go out and buy you know, all these expensive lights just yet. Um, you know, if you can, just, you know, make sure that you're sat next to a window, you know, open the curtains, film yourself during the daytime, and that should be, you know, sufficient amount. That should be a sufficient amount of light. You know, right now I'm doing exactly that. And, you know, it's a cloudy day as well. So there is enough light today. Number five, computer and software. So once you've filmed everything, you need some way of bringing all these clips together and editing them. And you know there are apps on your mobile phone um, which can do this. Uh, I've previously used Spark Camera, um, but you're not going to have the same amount of control as if you're on a computer. So you have more control on a computer. Um, on a Mac, um, you can use iMovie. And if you want even more control, you can use programs such as Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, Premiere Pro is the one that I use and uh, the first time I opened it, it was terrifying. You know, there's like four screens. It's like, it looks super sophisticated and um, it's not that scary. Uh, you know, if you spend some time learning the software, it, it's, it's not, I promise you, it's not that scary and it's a very powerful program to edit your videos. Number six, music. So when it comes to music, um, this is so important for a vlog. Um, you know, it, music does so many things. It unites all your clips together. Um, it can it can change the pace of your vlog. So quite often, um, I will pick a, a song that is a little bit more upbeat to to, to 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 increase the pace of my vlog. I'll pick something that's you know happy, um, you know inspiring. You know, that that kind of mood. That, that you want in a vlog. So basically, music makes your vlog more interesting. So you really need to have it. And there are places on the internet where you can get music for free, um, but you must be very careful in terms of you know, any royalty or copyright issues. And you know, I am extremely paranoid about that kind of thing. So um, I, I've stopped trying to find free music on the internet. And instead, I use something called Soundstripe. And this is a music library with um, royalty-free music. So essentially, I'm you know paying, I'm, I'm licensing that music. And you know, for every vlog that I do, I spend a lot of time trying to find the right song. So yeah, it, it contributes in a huge way to your vlog. It really makes it more interesting. So I just wanted to finish off with some um, final thoughts. To start a vlog, you don't need the most expensive equipment. Um, just focus on having decent audio, decent lighting, decent visuals, and you know something that I haven't spoken about here, decent content as well. And you know if you have all of these things, you are good to go. Now, if there are any aspects of vlogging that you'd like me to speak about, you know please please leave me a comment below so that. I know what to make a video about next time. So thank you so much for watching and you know please hit that like button, please consider subscribing. Until next time, goodbye.